OK, let's talk about that plan a little more. Joining me now is Professor Christian Dussman, an expert in labour markets and migration from University College London. Welcome, Professor. First of all, the Home Secretary says businesses should look closer to home to fill, their, fill the gaps that might be left. How realistic is that? Well, that's not always possible. Um, it takes, first of all, a lot of time to train uh, workers to the level uh, that is needed for business. So migration is always um, a way for business to react to uh, demands, uh, demand shocks uh, in the way they need workers for particular tasks, for particular occupations. Uh, and then, of course, she mentions that there are 8 million uh, workers idle in the UK. Inactive, she uh, said, wasn't inactive, it? Yeah. But, of course, they are, they, are, they are inactive for a reason. So many of these people uh, may not uh, want to work. Uh, others may not have the qualifications and will be difficult to be trained up to the level uh, business actually needs. And again, others may have uh, some disabilities. Uh, so it is uh, far harder to... Uh, bring these people into work uh, to fill the gaps which uh, will be left by um, uh, well, the non-happening migration in the future, uh, then that is sad. And, of course, many areas like care, of course, have many vacancies uh, that go unfilled. For people looking to come here, will this make Britain, London a less attractive place? Well, it depends on uh, particular occupation you are, you are targeting. But uh, my view is that over the last, uh, well, one or two decades, we were quite lucky to be able to attract uh, workers from all over the European Union uh, who did jobs uh, that were needed, uh, where here in the UK uh, qualified uh, uh, personnel was not available. Uh, and uh, to, uh, well, make that more difficult, to restrict that, of course, from the perspective of business, uh, will uh, mean uh, we are heading towards very difficult times, in a way. OK, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you very much for coming in, Professor Christian Dussman.